Hello guys, today I'm doing a video on a coffee pot. This is not the box it came in, but um, this is an old box from to another coffee pot of some sort, and this is the coffee pot that I got off at a yard sale, and it was an okay shape, and I cleaned it and repaired it and made sure it's cleaned out and everything so yeah um let's get started I'm gonna show you what it is I put it like this so make it like a unpackaging video and a test and a review so let's get started alright Here's the coffee pot. Um, I did fix it. What all it was wrong with it was some of these buttons were sticking, and the button area kept on turning on the coffee pot on its own. So I had to go in and fix it. So I did, and there we go. We had it. So we have a coffee pot to test out. It's a twelve cup coffee pot. Here's the heating pad. This thing keeps is meant to keep it warm. When there's another heating pad back here, when it sucks it up, when it sucks it up. It goes through here and see back here see that little hole that is where the heating pad will suck through the there's a heater a very very hot heater be underneath it so there's more to the heater than you think and even though this may not work, you still have a heater that works. That's a very simple thing to swap out if you need to, but I do collect these things right here. Here's the filter. This thing is a sprayer. What it does is it sprays a little right here a little bit at a time and then it will start squirting around here a little bit at a time. So squirt, it'll be like one, two, and one, two. Something like that. So we're gonna test it and see how well it does. What I always recommend when you're getting a new coffee pot, do not put a filter in it the first time. What I do is put this like this, put a cup or and a half of vinegar. And I also you know that a little bit of mouthwash also does the trick, which I did this a little while ago not that long ago but yeah so or you could do both and that will clean it out and kill the bacteria in here and do not put a filter in here because that's the one a trick that I learned it'll get between here and I'll do a video um, later on is how to keep your coffee pot maintenance and keeping it good and going. And I actually did that to my dad's coffee pot and he's had that for like 12 years now. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is rinse this out.
I used hot water, so yeah. Make sure the bottom of this is dry because a lot of times a lot of people don't realize. What I usually do is take have a cloth or something. When it drips onto here, the coffee drips on here, you want to try and wipe it with a dry cloth as soon as possible because that can ruin the heating pad and the uh, elements in the heating pad will, uh, will ruin it. Make sure this is always dry and there's a little bit of water in here. I got fresh water here, or not fresh, fresh, but sink. There you go. This thing is meant to come off. I'll show you. See? So this is easier to clean. I'm going to put it right here. No, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this. See this right here? Where there's light coming in and out? That's my finger. If you put too much water, it will start pouring out of this hole. All coffee pots have it. I'm plug her in. There we go. What I'm going to do is set the time. This clean delay boo. Boom now. Select off. Um. Brew strength. Strong. Fresh brew timer. Hour minute. Set. Delay. So what I'm going to do is play with it and see what happens. Ah. Let me check my watch. So it's 12.59, which I'm going to put it at. It'll, well, 1, which actually went a little bit too far. There's only it's only two minutes ahead, so I put it at one o two. So there we go. I know it says p.m. Well, it is p.m. But oh well. So the set delay. So um. Who delay? I found out what it does is what it you can set it at a time and it will start it at when it's time. So okay. There we go. 
and uh, start brewing when it's done. And if you want to cancel that, you hit that again. And hit brew now if you want. And then there's strong brew strength. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Alright, and there we go. See the bottom? Now we take it out when it's doing it, because you never know what could happen. Like... See that right there? That's made on some coffee pots don't have it, some do. And once it's done it should be all set. And it should come out nice and hot. Yeah, it is. Never do the touch right here because you could burn yourself, but I don't care. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Top is... And I'm going to lift up a little bit here. See what I mean? How it works? I think that's about it for you guys. Um, I'm just using plain water. Um, I think that's all I have for you to get today, guys. I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. And see you next time. And oh yeah, subscribe and see you next time. Bye.